So then we get Zod. Zod, who announces that he's got nothing left, which he doesn't, decides he's going to kill Superman. And everybody, because Superman took everything from him. Superman, who apparently, unlike Zod, you know, Zod has no problems with genocide, but Super Jarrell lectures Zod about it. I'm not sure if he said anything about to Kal El about gen genocide being bad. Because you know what? And like I said, in that one scene where he says Krypton had its chance, yeah, he went pretty genocidal on it. So anyway, you have the big fight. Superman's dragging Zod through cross buildings. Zod's throwing Superman all over the fucking place. They go out to space, smash a satellite there. Um. Oh yeah, uh, irony here. Superman calls Zod a monster. About a half hour after he went and just literally murdered all of any chance of. The Kryptonian race being reborn. Nice one. Fucking double standard ass. Uh, okay, we talked about the Lois Lane being needed to do the black hole bomb because she's a fucking worthless cunt. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that last word there. Um, so, yeah. No, this movie, why anybody likes this movie is beyond me. The plot is so fucking, like, half the movie, I'm just freaking, I got nothing out of this movie. I didn't fucking give a shit about Superman. I didn't give a shit about the main character, Lois Lane, or Perry White, or fucking any. I mean, the real heroes were basically the guy, the general, the do and the doctor. Superman was just fucking there to finish off the the uh, big bad. That was it. And to play freaking um, tentacle tag with a fucking mon robot that he could have easily have just crashed right into. So, yeah, this this wasn't a fucking Superman movie. As far as that S standing for hope, you know what? I'm This guy, he dresses like the fucking evil Superman in Superman 3. He fucking, he fucking does, does everything in his power to goddamn spread hopelessness at, after he grows up. And I blame his, blame that fucking Pa Kent character. Because that guy was the most fucking pathetic piece of shit ever. With his goddamn wisdom. Maybe should kill him. No. What he should have done is fucking just ex tell him you did the right thing in Clark. You, But Clark, we, if you, when that happens, you have to be more careful. You can't just let you... You can't have we blah, blah blah something along those lines, not just some god fearing asshole thing. So, but yeah, I mean, like there's so much the the cutscenes, the, the fucking flashbacks being in the movie. The fucking fifth, first 15 minutes could have been right when he learns about Krypton. And everything else. Lois Lane, I would have fucking cut her right out of the story. She could have shown up at the end when Clark shows up to, on his first day at work at the Daily Planet. That's it. That's all you needed her for. She, otherwise, she was completely fucking worthless. You could have used a fucking doctor. The fucking doctor could have came out and seen him fucking going into the 
ship or something. She was just fucking worthless. But you know what? You know what? I, that's okay. It's okay. You know what? Being the type of person I am, I'm not going to let this anger. This movie has not hurt while I feel about the other Superman movies the way Spider Man 3 did. Will I watch this movie again? Fuck no! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Unless I have someone over that's gonna rip off the living shit out of this thing because it deserves it. However, because, as I said, I would have done this differently, I have had, with the help of some pe other people, I have uh, had some, what's it called? Some people draw up some pictures of a, another Superman movie. A better Superman movie. In which case, I can't remember what they're called, some kind of panels. In which case, they will be the beginning of what should be a vastly superior Superman movie. Ah, and let's see what they are. What the fuck? Okay. All right. I'm going to have to work, get a budget. <laughs>